hi everyone welcome to my channel botany tutorials in this session i would like to explain the continuation of vegetative characters of apac okay vegetative characters uh, in the previous video i, I explained vegetative characters now floral characters in the floral characters first one is inflorescence generally inflorescence is umbel umbel inflorescence that may be simple or compound umbel simple umbel is seen in centella asiatica a compound umbel compound umbel is seen in coriandrum sativum and dacus carota this is compound umbel in compound umbel the ring of bracts the ring of bracts at the tip of the main axis this is main axis at the tip of the main axis the ring of bracts united to form involucre involucre while the one at the tips of the branches this is branch at the tip of the branches the bracts are present they are united to form involucel involucel involucre is present involucel is present involucre is present at the tip of the main axis and involucel is present at the tip of the branch okay are you understand now uh, coming to flower flowers are pedicillate pedicill is present these all are pedicils flowers contain pedicils so that they are called pedicillate flowers next bracteate bracts are united at the base so that bracteate or e bracteate bracts are absent in peniculum vulgare next flowers are perfect next complete flowers complete means all the four holes are present that means calyx corolla gynoecium and androecium four holes are present in the flower next actinomorphic we can cut the flower into two equal halves in any plane okay then they are called actinomorphic or zygomorphic flowers zygomorphic flowers are seen in coriandrum in coriandrum peripheral flowers of the umbel inflorescence this is umbel inflorescence the peripheral flowers the peripheral flowers are zygomorphic and flowers are hermaphrodite that means bisexual androecium and gynoecium are present next flowers are pentamerous next flowers are epigynous epigynous and pentamerous flowers next calyx calyx comprising five sepals this is one two three four five like that five sepals are present they are gamosepalous that means they are fused and sepals are completely absent in funiculum vulgare funiculum vulgare sepals are absent and these sepals are sometimes ordinate to the ovary that means they are fused to the ovary next valvate or imbricate estivation and the sepals are green in color okay next next all is corolla in corolla petals are five in number these are five petals one two three four five five petals are present they are polypetalous that means they are free they are not united or fused in coriandrum the petals of peripheral flowers are unequal this is peripheral flower and this is central flower in central flower all the petals are equal in size but in uh, peripheral flower the petals are unequal in size this is bigger in size this is medium in, medium in size and these two are smaller in size like that they are unequal and estuation is valvate in funiculum vulgare otherwise they may be imbricate estuation they are arranged in imbricate estuation and they are variously colored this is about corolla next one of the flower is androecium androecium comprising five stamens 1 2 3 4 5 
these stamens are free they are not united and they are alternate petals that means they are alternate with the petals these are the uh, petals and they are alternate with the petals that's why they are called alternate petals next anthers dithicus dithicus means they have two anther lobes so that they are called dithicus next intros they are remain present in the flower next base fixed the filament is attached at the base of the anther otherwise they may be darsi fixed darsi fixed means the the filament is fused to the anther at their dorsal surface next longitudinal dehiscence the splits longitudinally okay next next one is fourth all or innermost wall of the flower is gynoecium 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 is bicarpellary two carpels are present this is one carpel and this is another carpel total two carpels are present they are syncarpous that means they are fused inferior ovary and bilocular two locules are present this is one locule and this is another locule two locules are present and axial placentation styles two two styles are present like this two styles are present this is one style and this is another style and base of the style is swollen like a disc this is base and this base is swollen like a disc this swollen disc is called stylopodium stylopodium these two are styles the base of the style is swollen and the swollen uh, base is called stylopodium and stigmas two these are stigmas stigmas two capitate are otherwise bifid capitate are bifid this is about gynoecium next one is pollination pollination is generally entomophilous pollination takes place with the help of uh, insects next one is fruit this is very very important the fruit is cremocarp this is fruit cremocarp this is ovary the ovary is splits to form two meri carps this is ovary and this ovary break down to form two meri carps this is one meri carp and this is another meri carp the two meri carps remain attached with a stalk like structure that stalk like structure is called carpophore carpophore and each mericarp have ridges and furrows five longitudinal ridges are present on the uh, mericarp these ridges are known as costae costae ridges means uh, ups furrows means downs ups and downs that means ridges and furrows are present these ridges are called costae between the costae that means between the ridges furrows are present the furrows are called valiculae valiculae under these furrows the oil ducts are present those oil ducts are called vitae ridges are present in between the ridges furrows are present in the furrows oil ducts are present those oil ducts are called vitae these uh, this vitae valiculae costae carpophore mericarp these all are uh, very very important in entrance point of view okay uh, in exam it will ask uh, under four marks question cremocarp otherwise fruit in apac next seed seed is generally endospermic embryo is small next floral formula the floral formula is general bracteate if bracte is present we have to draw a bract here next actinomorphic flower this is actinomorphic this is zygomorphic flower 
next bisexual flowers androecium is present and gynoecium is present k5 they are united k means calyx 5 the sepals are united are absent in funiculum vulgar next c5 they are free these are petals these petals are free a5 stamens are 5 in number next g g means gynoecium two carpels are present so that uh, we write here two and we put bracket to the two because the same carpels next inferior over so the vertical line over the g okay this is about uh, floral formula of apsc family thank you for watching my video in the next video i will come with economic importance of apsc family thank you